This video demonstrates how to plot a coupling constant in CES EduPack. The problem that we're looking at is that we have a column that's being loaded in tension. We would like to minimize the mass, and we also have a stiffness requirement S star that needs to be met as long as, as well as a strength requirement F star. So based on these two requirements, we did derive two equations for our mass M1 and our mass based on the strength requirement M2. We find two material indices corresponding to each equation. The next step is that we need to determine the coupling constant and how these two are related. To find the coupling constant, we set our mass M1 equal to our mass M2. When we do that and we rearrange and group our, our terms together, we find that we get the coupling constant is equal to the length times the stiffness divided by the force. And so the specific problem that we're trying to solve is you can see the coupling constant depends on geometry and functional parameters. So we're going to plot the coupling line for a value of L equals one meter, a stiffness of 30 megapascals, and a force of 100 kilonewtons. Using these parameters, we find that our coupling constant is equal to 300 with the units of one over meters. Our next step is that we need to create a plot within CES EduPack. You can see I've already prepared this plot here. We have a plot of the density divided by the yield strength on the y-axis and density divided by Young's modulus on the x-axis. The first step is that I need to make sure that the units of my graph match the units that I was calculating my coupling constant for. So if we remember our coupling constant was calculated using units like newtons and pascals. So now we want to make sure our units, our axes have these units. So to do this, we'll go up to tools, select options, and now we can go to units. I'm going to specifically select the units of SI consistent. And we'll apply those. Now we can check and see what units are being calculated. For instance, if I just double click on Illumina, it brings up the description. And if we scroll down to the material properties, we see that the density has units of kilograms per meter cubed, Young's modulus has units of pascals, and the strength also is going to have units of pascals. So these are the units that we want. So now what I can do is I go back to my graph. On my graph, the first thing I'll do before I actually do that is I'm going to edit my axes. So I'm just going to right click on the stage, edit stage, and I'm just going to add a label that my X axis, that is M1. And my Y axis, that is M2. I'm simply doing this for ease of bookkeeping so that I can try and keep track of which properties are in which axes. So the next step is that I wanna start drawing in my coupling line. So I know that my coupling line is always going to have a slope of one. So I select the gradient line selection button, enter a slope of one, and I just click okay. And I'll just place it anywhere for now. And then the next step is remember the key port, the key point with coupling constants and two material index lines is that the location of this coupling line depends on our functional and geometry parameters. So to determine that location, I go back to my PowerPoint to my notes and our coupling constant we found was 300 one over meters. So now if I need to locate that line, I can rearrange my material index, my, my coupling constant equation. And so I know that M2, the ratio of M2 divided by M1, that's just my coupling constant, which is the length times the stiffness divided by force. And we found that's 300. So the easiest way to then determine the location of where this is going to be is to figure out the X and Y coordinates of a single point on that coupling line. 
So for instance, we know that if x, which is m1, if that's equal to 100, that's the denominator here, then we know that y, our numerator, needs to be 300 so that this ratio stays the same. So our points are going to be x equals 1 and y equals 300. To set the location of the line in CES EduPack, now we go over, we right click on the stage button, and I select edit stage. Now I can go to selection where I can specifically enter those x and the y values that we just specified. So we set x equals to 1 and y equals to 300. And I select OK. And now this draws our line in. So even though that those points 1 and 300 don't appear on our y and our x axis, CES EduPack still draws the line so that it goes through that point, so it interpolates through that point. We can also double check this. We know that that ratio tells us that M2 should be 300 times larger than M1. So for instance, here we see M1 equals 1 times 10 to the minus 6. 300 times larger than that is 3 times 10 to the minus 4. So that means that this line should intersect this, the vertical 1 times 10 to the minus 6. The coupling constant line should intersect at 3 times 10 to the minus 4. And if we look over at our y-axis, we see that in fact the case, that is the case. This point here is 3 times 10 to the minus 4. So that is a, a, a way for us to check the location of our coupling line.